Right, you guys, got another video on how to make Windows 11 look and feel more like Windows 10. Now, if you've got Windows 11 and you're not quite happy with a bunch of features in Windows 11, like this start menu, uh, the context menu, the taskbar, or any of these sort of things in Windows 11, but you want to keep Windows 11, but you want that look and feel from Windows 10, then I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. But first, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, click on this one, and then you can uh, see we'll bit the Buy Now page, hit the Buy Now button, Put in my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order to get a juicy discount. Once you click apply, it will be reduced down to $16.41. Submit your order and then activate your version of Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro. So this is how you can make Windows 11 more usable in my personal opinion. It's a program called Explorer Patcher. Now you can get it from GitHub, I'll leave the link in the video description. It gives you all the information you need to know about Explorer Patcher. It's getting constantly updated and they're adding new features and they're also uh, fixing bugs and things like that. You've got an updater here and it's also a way of uninstalling it to put it straight back to the way it was before you installed it. So this is the actual software here. We're going to run this as administrator and get it installed on the PC. You're going to get this Windows protection uh, for your PC because it's an unknown publisher, but go ahead and click yes to install. Now you'll see the screen go white. This is normal because it's adding the uh, tweaks to make it look like Windows 10. Once it's done, you should see the desktop come back and there we go. So once we're here, we can click on the start button and basically you will basically you will still see the Windows 11 start menu. So go into all apps and then look for the actual program here, which is called Properties Explorer Patcher. Open this up and you will now see the little application where you can make further tweaks to your system. We've got Taskbar, System Tray, File Explorer, Start Menu, Windows Switcher, Weather, Other, Updates, Advanced and About. In the Taskbar style, you can change this from Windows 10 to Windows 11 to go back to Windows 11 if you wish. If you uninstall the program, it will go back to Windows 11 anyway but that's how you can switch between the two. Also, just hit the Restart File Explorer and it will add those features uh, to your, your system. Very simple and easy to do. Now, there is loads of other little tweaks in here. I'm not going to cover them all, but you can apply the tweaks that you need. If you want to realign the Start button to make it go to the left, just align it and then Restart File Explorer and you will see it now over on the left-hand side. You can even have it on the left or the top because we are now using the Windows 10 style. So let's go ahead and make some other changes so you can see it here. So you're getting that usability of Windows 10 on Windows 11, which I think is a must have because Windows 11 is uh, not my favorite when it comes to start menu and other things like that. Whereas this makes it look and feel a little bit more like 10, but you're still using Windows 11 security features and other features uh, for Windows 11. So if you look here, our taskbar, we can put this over on the left if we wanted to. You can also change any other information on here, which you can see listed. So whatever you want to do with your system tray, go in here and there's a bunch of other settings inside here so change these up to the way you like so if you want to change it uh, to say for instance windows 10 fly out or anything like that you can change all that inside here and also we do have the primary taskbar loca task location on the screen which we can change to the left as you can see on the screen here we can change this to the left if we wanted to or you can even have it on the top whereas in windows 11 you can't but because of the menu system that Windows 11 uses, it won't allow you really to put it at the top. Whereas with Windows 10, you can still get away with it. So for all you uh, people that love to change the uh, position of your taskbar, then this is going to be right up your street. Now, there's a bunch of other stuff on here which you can mess around with. I'll leave that up to you to have a little play with. But again, start button style, you can put it for Windows 10 by default. You can change it to Windows 11 or whatever you want here. Also, uh, we've got some other bits and pieces on here uh, that might interest you. And this is probably the easiest program I've used to actually make 
Windows 11 feel and look like Windows 10. It really makes things easier. And if you just want to quickly make some changes, you can use this uh, to do that for you. File Explorer, again, you can uh, do a bunch of stuff in here. Disable the Windows 11 context menu. You've got Use Classic Drive groupings in this PC. You can also do a bunch of other stuff inside here as well, depending on how far you want to go uh, with this particular program. Uh, you can just go ahead and make the changes that suit you. So again, we've got quite a few categories here to go through. I'm not going to cover everything, but I'll try and cover the most uh, common ones that people ask all the time here. You can change the ribbon by just going in here and putting it onto the Windows 10 ribbon. Yes, you can do these in the registry yourself. Uh, but again, this program just makes it so much more, more easier. And it's all under one hood and it makes life a lot more simple. So let's go ahead and make a few more changes and I'll show you the end result. Now remember there is programs out there like Start All Back and Start and Start 11 which will actually change your start button and menu system as well but this is completely free you can use this program to get the look and feel of Windows 10 on Windows 11. Just quickly change the context menu here as you can see much more simpler to use and again there's no reason not to upgrade to Windows 11 if you can get that look and feel of Windows 10 on it because it's going to make it much more secure and a better operating system and you won't have to worry about uh, end of life for Windows 10 or anything like that so you can still have that feel of Windows 10 on your Windows 11 operating system so pretty good little application I'll leave all the links and information in the video description if so what do you guys think? Do you think this program's worth giving a go? I mean, it gives you the functionality of Windows 10 on Windows 11 and it gives you those features back that you crave on Windows 10 and that are stopping you from upgrading to Windows 11. So anyway, let me know in the comments section what you guys think of this sort of program. I'll be interested to read your comments. Also, way down there, give the video a thumbs up and I shall catch you in the very next video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. A special shout out goes to RTX Brody, Edward Kelly, Albert Hewson, Ron Hicks, Celtic Lad, PC Repair Tech, Vitality, Phil's Computer Repair, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, and Welsh Tony. Really do appreciate the support, guys. I shall catch you in the very next one. If you want to uninstall this one, it's pretty straightforward as well. Just uh, change the setup to uninstall and then click the button and it'll uninstall all of this program and its features from your computer. I shall see you on the Discord.